Hey guys, welcome back to another Hopper Short. Um, so today is Thursday and we're going to be moving on to a little bit of a darker beer for the German styles. Uh, this is called the Juriga Sticka and uh, this is an alt beer. Um, which basically in terms of, you know, how we pronounce it over here, it'd be the, it'd kind of the equivalent of a brown ale. Um, you know, as you can tell on the color, um, it's a lot darker than the three beers that we've looked at previously this week. Um, I also wanted to point out the unique bottle style. Um, it's got the swing top on it. Anyway, this beer clocks in at 6%. Um, like the others that we've looked at this week, um, it is a top fermented beer. Uh, it originates from Westphalia, Germany, and, you know, really excited to get this one on the show. Um, I've never had this one, so, you know, I, I think it's probably just one of those styles or one of those bottles that, you know, I've always seen but never really went to purchase. But um, anyway, looking at the color, um, it really looks like the same color as dates. I mean, that's, that's exactly the color this looks like. If you uh, look up dates online or if you know what they look like, then you pretty much got the color nailed down here. Um, I did get a pretty good amount of, you know, soft tan colored head off the uh, pour there. Um, I poured it fairly gently. Um, you know, you can tell that it's, you know, really a lively beer. Um, but let's go ahead and smell it and see how it smells. Well, it's very malty. Uh, it's very grainy. Um, I do get some dark fruits in there as well. You know, it looks like dates. Uh, it, it, you know, or I'm sorry, yeah, it looks like dates and it smells like dates. Um, kind of raisiny, um, but really malty, I think, is the main thing. Malty, uh, grainy. There's a touch of grassiness. A touch of grassiness from the hops. Not much, though. I think they're really kind of subdued in there. Um, really, these, this type of beer, this alt beer, is known for being uh, maltier than it is hoppy. So, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a drink and see how it tastes. So, I would say this is grainy. You know, the, the flavor is grainy first and foremost. There is a touch of spiciness in there from uh, a little bit of the hops that they've added. I don't get a whole lot of sweetness, though, which is kind of interesting. I would have thought that you would get a little bit more sweetness. Um, it's not so much dry as it is just kind of um, bitter. Um, I don't get a whole ton of flavor. Um, you know, not really blowing my mind by any stretch of the imagination. It's a decent beer. Uh, I'm glad I have the bottle. In fact, I will show you guys at a later date what you can do with these types of bottles. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, I, I guess this one's more on the bitter end. Um, followed by some of those darker fruits like, you know, dates and raisins. Uh, but again, not a whole lot of sweetness to really kind of help balance that out. Um, I don't know that I would really go out of my way to have this one again. Um, they do make a Doppelstick, so that's a doubled up version of this. Maybe that one will have a little bit more malt, um, and I'll try that one down the road. So, well guys, we got one more day left, and I really hope you enjoy these shorts. My name is Mark Starr, and we'll see you tomorrow for Friday.